Okay, hopeful. So this is what's for dinner today. This was actually on a Saturday or a Friday. I felt like cooking. And so it, it, the recipe is by cooking with Claudia. And I'll make sure I put her recipe down below in her channel. And what it is is Fritos at the bottom. And then it's ground beef. You season it. I think what peppers and onions and jalapenos. I don't remember. Then you make a sauce with jalapenos sour cream cream cheese you pour that on there um you can leave extra to put on top and then some cheese and then i didn't put the lettuce all over like she did and the pico de gallo or salsa and the jalapenos only because i knew they weren't going to eat all of it right away so check that recipe out um it didn't make a lot so we had leftovers Hi, Hopeful. So what's for dinner for today? I didn't record this one, but we're having dirty rice with um, peas. But I forgot that quick that we were going to have salad instead, y'all. So um, it's just me, JJ, and Josiah. So I just made a really small salad right here. And then I'm going to add crispy fried onions to mine only because um, I don't feel like cutting any right now. And I love onions. So I'm just going to make a real simple salad. But um, some and then if they want croutons, I think I just heard Trail roll up. So I forgot about him. But anyway, it's enough for him. And yeah, so I probably put the peas up for tomorrow. I was going to make chicken breast for today. Um, but I didn't take them out in time. They probably would have been thawed out. They were thawing out um, by meal time. But I said, you know what? I'll save it for tomorrow. So that's probably what we'll have tomorrow. So let me plate this up. Okay. And this is what it looks like all plated up um, here. And Josiah is starving. He is ready to eat. He done asked me 50 million times. Okay. So the salad is just spring mix with some tomatoes, some these crispy onions um we used to call them turkey fried onions y'all and some cheese monterey jack cheddar kobe monterey jack and kobe shredded cheese tomatoes i think i already said that and boiled eggs so that's it um i don't think i'm gonna add nothing else i used to like i like to add everything jalapenos <laughs> olives and everything but that's it Okay, guys, so for today, I am, or this morning, so I hope you guys are doing great. Um, I am seasoning some chicken. This is chicken breast, and I'm putting it in the crock pot. Let's see. It's a little dark over here. But putting it in the crock pot, I love to make sure my meats are seasoned or my food is seasoned. I love to see the seasoning and I like this seasoning right here because you can see all those bits inside of it. And I don't think it has like a lot of salt in it. Ooh, the writing is real small. On the camera it looks large, but on the on here it's real small. I have to start taking pictures and zooming in. But I don't have my glasses on. But anyway, I'm going to season this. And I'm going to let it cook for a little while, y'all. It's going to be barbecue chicken. And then I'm going to put some sweet baby rays on it. And normally, I, with my barbecue chicken, well, I don't make barbecue chicken a whole lot. Um, growing up, my mom would make it on the stove um, with the chicken breast and kind of like saute it, put it, the pan, um, put the top on it, you know, let it cook. Um, also in the oven, but I thought I'd do the crock pot today. So even though I wanted to fall off the bone, but I wanted to stay on the bone, if that makes sense, but I wanted to fall off the bone. So I have it on high. I might put it on low because it's like 9.56. Today was the first day the boys went back to school. And then, um, so normally I would have probably put it on a little bit earlier, but it's still, it's still early. So anyway, I haven't decided what sides, maybe the North size broccoli and rice cheddar. Um, at the boys like that and we have a lot of it we need to eat and then maybe some cornbread I'm not sure y'all but we'll see so this is what's for dinner today and I'll show when I put the barbecue sauce on
Okay, hopeful. So this is what the barbecue chicken looks like. And I think I may make it like this more often. Um, I could have thickened up the sauce with um, some cornstarch, but I'm not doing all that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's falling off the bone. Um, I had it on low for when I put the barbecue sauce on it for the rest of the day. Um, I was running around doing stuff. They should be eating by now. But let me show you um, Jason's plate all plated up. Okay, y'all. So this is what it looks like. Um, we have cornbread. It's the Jiffy honey cornbread. Some string beans. Um, string beans, I just seasoned them with that onion and garlic seasoning that I showed earlier. I don't even know if I showed it earlier. Yeah, I did show it earlier. And then this is the north side rice. We have a lot of it, so they need to eat it. Even though it does have like that marlar bag lining on the inside. Has JJ doing, um, Jason doing something with his teeth, y'all. And then this is the barbecue chicken. It looks really good. I can't wait to try it. This is actually one breast and a little bit of another because it's falling off. And this is what's for dinner. I'm gonna add some peas to his plate. Um, he doesn't like to eat his food super hot, so he's gonna let it cool off because the peas are from yesterday when I made that salad and I meant to, I didn't mean to open up the peas. I forgot about the tall salad. So this is what's for dinner for today. Okay guys, so this is what's for dinner, which is um, bacon, chicken quesadillas, bacon, chicken bacon quesadillas and I just used the bacon crumbles from Sam's. I didn't make any regular bacon. That probably would have been really good. But yeah, I used some of the, I have a video of this on the channel. So I'll see if I can find it. The Mexican style um, blend cheese, Happy Farms cheese from Aldi. I used some of this, uh, let's see, my medium fresh cut salsa. We also have some hot, which I may put on here as well. I was thinking about some jalapenos today. I should have cooked mine, but I normally make it on the griddle. And this is mine. And this is all that we're going to have this case of this today, y'all. I was going to make some corn, some corn or either some rice. And it was just this, the carpool lines, I don't know about y'all, but they just been super long and it's hot. And then on top of that, uh, I had to take, we had to run over and take JJ to the dentist to get his filling. I think he just went to the dentist, but he had to get his filling refilled. And then while he was there, um, he was fine being there by himself. We had to go run and go get my car from the shop. Finally, um, it was completed. So anyway, then I stopped by Aldi because we didn't have any tortillas. We did, but I just wanted to make sure they was fresh, but we needed some more sour cream and some other things just a few things so we ran in there right quick but anyway <laughs> my whole life story this is what's for dinner and this is why we having just this hi hopeful so today we are having panay did i say that correctly panay um not necessarily bait panay um noodles but just we just use different almost like spaghetti but we just use different noodles today so that is what we're having and i y'all i have to get better with the <laughs> with showing what i used so i used one pound of turkey and one pound of ground beef i was really trying to get the other pound of ground turkey but it was in the ziploc not ziploc it was like at the bottom of the freezer zip vacuum seal bag that's what i'm gonna say and it was at the bottom and i just grabbed it because i needed to run out the door and um do something right quick so i used a bottle of prego prego that's usually what i use uh i love prego more so i like making my own sauce so um i always get a big can of this crushed tomatoes this is from aldi the happy happy harvest and then i'll put one can of diced tomatoes in it sometimes i put one can of spaghetti sauce but that's usually what i do um i cut it off so it may look a little dry now because i cut it off it was really um more moist looking y'all more wet looking earlier but i was talking on the phone i realized i had turned it 
the eye back on. So I seasoned it with onions and peppers. I put that while I brown my meat. And then some of the seasonings or all the seasonings that I use, I use parsley, oregano, basil. This is garlic salt. This container came from Walmart. It's a set at Better Homes and Gardens at one time. I grabbed it because they had it marked down to $5. Um, the Italian seasoning and the Bada Complete. And then these over here are garlic and onion and smoked paprika, garlic, chil chili, and chives. These two came from, if you saw that haul, from uh, Marshalls. Marshalls, yeah. This tones came from Sam's. So that's usually where I get that from. And I'm trying to think what else, y'all. So we're having tall salad. I was going to make me a cucumber salad, but I'll just go ahead and wait tomorrow. And so all this is just a spring mix bag with some spinach in it. And I use my kitchen shears to cut it up so the lettuce will not be as large. I just put a few tomatoes because everybody doesn't like tomatoes, just myself. Jason and Cottrell. I don't never know if Cottrell is going to bring his own food when he comes home from work or not. Um, I use the pre-cooked Hormel bacon and I don't really care for that bacon. I'd rather have bacon bits, but we need to use it because I had it. I probably don't been to Sam's like four times since I first purchased it. So I'd rather cook my own bacon or use those bacon bits from Aldi or from Sam's. I need to try the ones from BJ's. I haven't even been to BJ's, but I need to use, uh, try those, but they had a good rating of those. Um, some shredded Kobe Jack cheese, I believe. Let's see what else we have. Some Parmesan crisp, because I just needed to, I wanted to go ahead and use that bag. I'd also put some French onions in here as well. Um, I had a big bag of that from Sam's. And I think that's it, y'all, because I didn't feel like cutting up any more onions today. Yeah, that's it. And if they want croutons, they can put croutons on it as well. I don't have any bread. I just figured, you know, the pasta itself is enough. And I'm trying to think what else did I, what else did I use? I think that's it, y'all. But this is what's for dinner for today. Hey guys, so this is what's for dinner on Friday today. Super simple. Um, the chicken, I usually don't fry my chicken. I go buy it somewhere. I don't even know why. I guess because it's just messy. I don't even know why. Not that I wouldn't, but I just don't. I don't even really think about it. But anyway, um, so on Friday, Harris Cedar has like a fried chicken. Well, we call it fried chicken. Friday is $4.99 a bucket. I think regular price like seven or six ninety nine for eight pieces. I think they short me a piece or either JJ snuck a piece, so I'm not sure. And then one or two pieces. And then they have rotisserie chickens, I believe, for four ninety nine or baked chicken. I can't remember. And then they also have like foot long subs, I think, for three ninety nine or four ninety nine on Friday. So anyway, um, this is what's for dinner: uh, fried chicken and mashed potatoes i was like picking up the bob evans mashed potatoes sometimes when i go in there or the other brand i can't think of it. it's a green and white package in the refrigeration section but um since i have so many uh, mashed potatoes and preps and stuff and i like this idaho and um, potatoes i'll go ahead and cook those so um as well far as greens um, this is the Glory Greens and really cutting sides today, y'all, shortcuts. Um, I did not want to really do too much. So anyway, um, and I have not had Glory in a long time. This is the only can that I actually have. I used to love it when they first came out, even though it was salty. But anyway, this is what's for dinner um, today. It sounded like it was something else. Oh, and um, they are having the, I put it on a, Sometimes they just eat it straight, you know, just the bread itself, take out a piece of bread. But today I put it on a cookie sheet pan and I added some butter to it. And so just let it cook for a couple of minutes. 